Tests between the years of 2007 and 2009 aren't nearly as drastic as the year between 2009 to 2010. As the years go on, music becomes less of a priority in schools than the standard STEM classes, so funding goes towards those classes while music is cut more and more. Students who have high levels of involvement in instrumental music over middle school and high school have higher levels of math proficiency by the 12th grade. Well, I'll tell you, in New York City, there are many school children that don't benefit from music education. And we look at music education as being part of a well-rounded education. And so coming into New York City and finding education through music, believing that every child deserves you know, an equal opportunity and, and the an access to quality music education, that's what drew me to education through music. Education through music, we currently serve 15,000 students every week, all year long, with a mouthful, comprehensive and sequential music instruction. Both JC and I started band and will end band with the same director, Mr. Wacker, since he has followed us from middle school to high school, making him our teacher for seven years now. We've obviously had more time with him than any other teacher because band doesn't end after one or two semesters because it's an ongoing process of learning and playing in an ensemble. Band can go on through high school to college, and after that, there are groups of adult musicians who play together just for fun. Over the last four years, the majority of our free time at school has been spent in the band room, either practicing or just hanging out. Combined with all the hours we have had rehearsal, stayed late for marching band, or just eating lunch and skipping class, it's safe to say that we have spent most of our high school career in the band room. I have no idea what I would have done if it wasn't there. Kendra and I met each other in band in the sixth grade, and with band, we have become closer as friends. Without band, we wouldn't have met a lot of our other friends as well. Being in band has made so many lasting friendships. At this point in my life, I can only think of maybe three people I'm friends with who aren't in band, and everyone else I know is in band right now, or was in band at some point. I think music is important in schools, um, because, uh, well, first of all, music is one thing that makes us human. It, it connects us all and it separates us um, from from animals, essentially. Um, and it's something that's part of our, our daily lives. You can't go through a day um, without hearing music. So uh, teaching, teaching music and having music uh, in the schools is really important to uh, pass that on to the students so that they know how to uh, uh, how to study music, how to perform music, and then learn how it, how it uh, relates to us as human beings. Typically, administrators um, feel like they can't cut core classes quite as much. Um, typically, core classes, that's gonna be the bulk of uh, student requests for classes. So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to cut core teachers, or cut into core teachers, um, FTE. Uh, whereas music, they're not getting as many requests uh, for music staffing, so they, they have a tendency to look more towards music classes um, or other exploratories. So when budget cuts are happening, it's, it's a little bit easier to cut music education staff than, than other, other staff in the building. And so when you're cutting into staff, uh, that cuts into programming. So if, if you're losing uh, band directors, um, that's going to cut out, you know, maybe the jazz band isn't going to be able to perform or we won't be able to have a jazz band anymore. Or maybe we won't have as many um, small ensembles perform at state uh, solo and small ensemble. Or maybe we won't be able to offer uh, music theory anymore. Um, so it's going to not only cut into staffing and the teacher, uh, teacher to student ratio within the music department, but it's also going to affect what, what programs are being offered. I did band. I started band in fifth grade. I uh, started playing trumpet there in fifth grade when I was at Hiawatha Elementary School. And uh, I did it all the way through high school. And when I uh, was a junior in high school, um, I really, really liked my band teacher. And I had a private lesson teacher that I really connected with and really liked. And um, I decided, man, this, this sounds like it'd be a lot of fun to do. So um, they encouraged me that way and uh, and put me in touch with uh, some professors from around the area at different colleges um, and I decided then that, yeah this is the route that I want to go I want to I want to be a band teacher 
The College Entrance Examination Board found that students involved in public school music programs scored 107 points higher on the SATs than students with no participation. As you can tell from this graph, extracurricular activities are being cut in schools all over the United States, but what is being cut the most is music. I promise two things in this program. I promise you're going to have memories of a lifetime and friendships that last forever. We teach band is life. We know that there's a natural talent in our young people. It's really about positive role models tapping into those talents. Music is honestly secondary to what we do. It is secondary what to do. Yes, it's great. Yes, they sound good. Yes, they're talented. But if they're not growing individually, if academically they're not succeeding, we're not doing our job.